Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to assign a custom header to each and every um, individual page or post that you choose to have one present and assign a default header to be used globally when there's no unique header available. So currently for this theme I'm assigning headers using the uh, the WordPress uh, theme options page and it's under global header URL and here is the URL to that header. Let's copy that just to get, show it to you. And here it is. So that's the uh, header that we're using now. What we want to do is modify this theme so that we can assign a unique header to specific posts and pages. So let's get into Dreamweaver and I'm going to I'm FTP'd onto the server and I'm going to bring down the uh, header.php file okay and here is where I am setting that um, that global header image. This is pulling from the uh, from the the uh, the field in the theme options page for header. So it's taking that URL and it's making it's placing that URL in the source. So what we're going to do is create. We're going to first write a function that is going to pull from the uh, the custom key of a poster page. Um, and we're going to call it post header. And it's going to take that value and assign it to an image. So let's go ahead and write that. Okay, so right here, what we've just said is if there is a a custom key name post header, if that's true, um, we want to take that value that's assigned to it and store it in a variable that we're calling post header, which is right here. So now let's write a conditional the uh, conditional statement that we're going to write is going to check to see if the variable post header has a value now if post header has a value in it then that means that the administrator has assigned a unique header for that particular poster page so we're, we want to use that so let's go ahead and actually we're gonna just take this line instead of writing it over again I'm just gonna copy it and let's just paste it here and we're gonna change this from being post header I mean from PM underscore header to so that's going to get that ver that that uh, value from that variable and store it as the source of this image file. Now let's terminate this if and put an else, which is now the else is used for in the case that the first if is false then we want it to do this so in this case if there is no value stored in the post header variable then we want to display this one and all we have to do is close that you have to make sure you terminate any open um, um, loops or uh, you know you, you have to close them so right here you see we're opening an if statement and then right here we're closing it and right here we're opening an else statement and you'll see right here I'm closing it 
So, um, let's go ahead and get this uploaded. And so right here, let's go ahead and refresh just to make sure that everything is still working. Nothing is broken, so that means that our code is correct so now I'm going to let's take this about page right here and let's assign a custom header to it so let's go in and find our pages let's edit the about page and we'll go ahead and upload a new header the header 2 copy this URL right here close this out and we'll come down we're gonna call this post header same as right here um, post header and I'm gonna paste this this uh, URL inside the value add custom field let's update this page now when we refresh we should see the new header and there we are so now you see that that header is applied to the about page but when we go to the welcome page we have the other one go to the about there's that one go to the welcome there's that one thanks a lot for watching I will post the uh, the code for calling the value of a custom field I'll post that below this video thank you for watching goodbye be sure to post any questions or comments right below the video thank you